Hi everyone and welcome to the Classic Sports Graphics tutorial that focuses on how to set up the Sports Graphics Soccer application and how to manage a single soccer or futsal event with it. In this tutorial I will run the Sports Graphics from a LifeBoard project so you understand how these two products interact. After starting the LifeBoard software we open the Sports Graphics default project. It contains all graphic templates, LifeBoard plugins and the script starting the soccer application. Now LifeBoard is loading and processing all resources in order to populate the LifeBoard contents grid. Each graphics template that you will see is made with Classics template editor software. Open the soccer application by pressing the content called soccer script. It will open in a separate window and let's run through the three tabs of this app. In the Setup tab, we add the information about the local team, the guest team and the match settings. In the Team paragraph, you can add information such as team name, coach, team short name, description and city. Moreover, you can select four different logos or flags. You can select a team module and see the preview. Now let's start to fill the team list with the player's information. To create your team list, right-click and add the players manually or import a previously created CSV file. Once the list has been imported, you have to enable the first choices in this tab or, as in this tutorial, drag and drop the starting players into the first choices tab. If you created the list manually, you can also export the players into a CSV file. The match settings regard the present match. You can select whether or not to see the team logos on air, choose the template language, change the timer description, set the formation settings and enable the statistics you want to manage in the main tab. The main tab is where you will manage the live match events. You find the same team list enabled statistics, timer settings, results and penalties. In the extra tab, you'll find the general buttons related to the league season and credits. In the extra window, you can add buttons as you wish, edit or remove them. Now I'm going to show you a complete soccer project. As you can see, I write the team information and add a picture column in the team list. In order to see the player's pictures, I select Show Player's Picture and I can edit the picture by double-clicking onto the photo. You are ready to go live by just clicking the buttons to send on air the selected graphics. First thing, I'll show you how to send the formation template on air. I press the background stadium picture in the extra tab and then go into the main tab to press the formation button of the Italian team. When the button turns yellow, it means that the template is on air. If, like in this case, the template has a pause frame marker, the soccer app shows it to you on the button. Now let's see the substitution. It is very simple. You just choose the two players to be substituted and send on air the graphics by clicking onto the substitution button. Now I show you the yellow card template and the statistics updating. This is a yellow card team statistics. As you can see, Sports Graphics saves the penalty for each player in real time. Now I show you the intro template. As you can see, there is an old date. Let's check the intro settings in LifeBoard. I can quickly edit any data from the LifeBoard graphics user interface in the Data tab by double-clicking onto the specific data without changing the original data source. But in this case, I will open the data source, change the specific data, save the external file, go back to LifeBoard, reload the data source and find my data tab updated with the correct information. Now the date is perfect. When the match finished, you can save the project. Music 
So I guess that's all folks for today. Thanks for watching the Soccer Sports Graphics Tutorial by Classics.